On April 6th in 2023, thanks to one single tweet, Chris Tyson became one of the most hated people on the internet due to his hormone replacement therapy. It was brutal, as months of hate, abuse and bullying ensued, with many opinions and videos getting posted about the situation and Sunny V2 even questioning how it would affect Mr. Beast. But what kind of effect did all of this have on Chris himself? What does he look like today? And did his relationship with Mr. Beast change at all? Well, it's it's time to find out. First, to quickly recap how this drama came about, we have to go back to March of 2022, when Chris began displaying more feminine traits and slowly started changing his appearance. He got his nails done at a nail tech, shaved his beard and grew his hair out, resulting in him having to prove his identification in four different customs, and even wore different clothes and accessories, which already prompted a lot of hate and criticism from not only his own followers but also Mr. B's fanbase. At first, he was vague about his true feelings behind these changes, as he just labeled it as eating better and taking his mental health more seriously. But how was his mental health linked to his change in appearance? Well, the clues to that mystery would continue to unfold over time, but not before I quickly talk about today's sponsor. You see, Opera GX is on a mission, and that mission is to get people off boring browsers and use a fun one instead. It's not for everyone, but if you're a gamer or just want to have fun while browsing, this is a must have. And here's why. First, with GX mods, things will already start to get exciting, because customization is truly limitless. Find a mod you like, click on it, and now you have your favorite theme with colors, background music, browser sounds, and keyboard sounds. For me, the Mr. Beast theme is perfect because it's all I talk about on the channel anyways. But that's not it, because if you're sick of playing Fortnite all day, you can stay updated on everything surrounding games in the GX corner. Free games, the best deals, the newest releases and even news. So yes, I know what you're thinking, you're probably convinced to switch over now. But wait! Here comes the best part. Trust me, this will be easier than surviving the final storm circle. Because with the quick import tool, you can quickly import all your settings from your previous browser to Opera GX, even having compatibility with every Google Chrome extension. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the top of the description and download it for free. I mean, come on, it's time to start leveling up your browser. However, we would soon find out the real reason as to why Chris was dealing with his mental health, as the internet quickly found out that Chris divorced his wife, which he confirmed on his Twitter, that he showed up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking more feminine than ever, teased that he found himself in a tweet defending trans rights, and ultimately made the controversial announcement that he had been doing HRT for the past two months, which is a medical procedure for changing genders, finally confirming what many were already expecting. Chris was becoming transgender, and did so to finally feel like his true self. And while he followed this up with a statement on the complex process of undergoing this treatment, and how it should be made easier, people weren't too happy with this announcement, and a barrage of hate started coming in. His fatherhood got brought into question, his capability of making decisions, and the Mr. Beast crew were called out for being yes men cowards, which Mr. Beast easily countered with a ratio. As a matter of fact, his friends were extremely happy about his decision, despite the backlash, and a long few months of criticism and hate were around the corner for Chris. He fought this endlessly, defending his son, teaching critics, and simultaneously trying to get his family to understand the situation as well. But where there is drama, there is an opportunity for monetization, and content creators covered this situation to the fullest extent. More and more videos started popping up, but on the 13th of April in 2023, Sunny V2, one of the biggest commentary channels on YouTube, decided to drop his own take, and released a video titled, Why Chris Tyson Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast. This video seemed quite harmless at first, simply explaining that Chris Tyson situation situation and its effect on the Mr. Beast brand. But in typical Sunny V2 fashion, he managed to make some questionable claims again, and it caused the drama to completely spiral out of control. Yes, this video from Sunny V2 caused quite a commotion, as none other than Mr. Beast himself decided to respond to it. Now, Mr. Beast and Sunny V2 actually go way back, as Jimmy used to be a massive fan of his content, and he even participated in an interview about the story of Mr. Beast Burger. But this relationship completely broke down when Mr. Beast called his title absurd and got sick of all the transphobia surrounding his friend. However, Jimmy wasn't alone with his opinion, as Sunny's biggest critic, Little Joel, called him out. I honestly think that if Sunny V2 had just come out and said, I don't like trans people, 
It would be better than this. And many others talking about the video being insane, transphobic, hilariously bad, terrible, the worst video on YouTube, and how Sunny V2 ruined his reputation with it. Yet, the most viral response with more than 2.2 million views was that from D'Angelo Wallace, picking this video apart minute by minute, and criticizing all of the comments supporting this video. Even adding an extra part where he included the opinion of massive YouTubers that normally wouldn't even get involved in drama, also agreeing with his criticism. So, it seemed like all of this support was a sign of the tide turning for Chris, right? Well, sort of. Because after this video, Chris decided to focus more on the positive comments that the new community he made around him, with more and more people writing encouraging replies under his tweets and sharing their own HRT journey. But, on the other hand, hate and rumors also continued, with some saying that Chris made the whole crew feel awkward during a live stream and Sunny V2 also making this claim. But Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Others assuming that Chris had been fired from the crew, people faking DMs from Mr. Beast about how he only supports Chris because he is scared to get cancelled, and many, many, and I mean many more hateful replies getting posted under Chris's tweets. But the question is, how did Chris deal with all of this gossip? Was he ever going to make a public response addressing everything? Yes, he was. And it would all happen a month later on the Banter Podcast. On the 10th of May, Chris joined Sapnap, George Not Found and Carl on the Banter Podcast to talk about his life. And in this episode, he also addressed the entire situation on camera for the first time ever. First of all, Carl and Chris debunked the infamous clip where Jimmy was supposedly uncomfortable with Chris sitting next to him. Uh, I love how easy it is to alter things and put it on the internet. Like, for I instance, do. we'll do an hour and a half long live stream on Mr. Beast. They'll find one time where Jimmy isn't just explicitly smiling, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's uncomfortable. He explained that the internet forced him to speedrun learning about himself, that he already had these feelings since he was young, that his ex-wife Katie already knew. You guys think that Katie for the last seven years has not been living with me? She was my, well, four years my wife, three years my, um, you know, girlfriend. But it's like she was there the whole way. She was supportive in her own way. We were both figuring it out. Proofing all the accusations of him being on bad terms with her wrong. And finally touched on the hate in the most professional way possible. Of course people are going to attack me. Are those the real fans? Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? Like, I know that right now what I'm focusing on is being the absolute best version of myself. Being the best example and influence for not only my kid but millions of kids out there because that's a big responsibility. Yet, the most interesting part of this podcast was where he talked about the fact that Mr. Beast already knew about his situation since college, proving that their friendship has always been way more valuable than their relationship in business. The comments on this video were insanely positive, with many even correcting their previous judgment and feeling bad for him, which meant that the narrative was slowly shifting into a more positive one for Chris. Of course, he will always have the people hating on him, as it's a controversial topic now nowadays, but he continues his journey no matter what, as he's proud of the direction he's going in. However, there are still two questions that remain unanswered, and those are, what does Chris look like today, and what does his future with Mr. Beast look like? Well, he still replies to haters on his Snapchat from time to time, but is now focused more on sharing his journey, answering questions, and educating people. He revealed in his stories that he already started his transition all the way back in February of 2021, and that he still doesn't know which gender he really is yet but that he will reveal it soon in an interview that he is doing, together with the announcement of his new name that he has been thinking about for months now. Also, the transformation in Chris's appearance keeps getting more and more noticeable as well, with his hair growing longer, his lip, neck and facial hair getting removed within 6 to 8 months, and him using profile pictures with makeup and dresses where he feels completely comfortable. So, it is safe to say that Chris dealt with the hate well, and he continues to work for his best friend Mr. Beast. He often shares sneak peeks of videos, Videos, films advertisements for Feastables, works on the other channels, and regularly features in main channel videos. Chris appeared in the ages 1 to 100 fight for $500,000 video, the $1 versus $1 billion yacht video, and the most recent train versus giant pit video. And while some noticed that the duration of Chris on screen decreased, with him only appearing a few seconds in the ages 1 to 100 video, and that he didn't have any interaction with Jimmy in the yacht video. But the thing which gave me some kind of uncomfortable 
feeling was that Chris and Jimmy were not having any interaction during the whole video. This quickly got put to bed in the latest Mr. Beast video as Chris appeared in multiple scenes, had more lines, interacted with Jimmy and showed off his usual goofy persona. So it seems that there is nothing wrong and that nothing changed at all. And even if Chris features less in videos, so what? He already stated before that he's going to come and go as he pleases as he wants to spend time with his son. Overall, Chris is doing better nowadays, despite every picture that he uploads being a talking point for days currently. Will this ever end? Probably not, as it will remain as a controversial topic for now. But neither Mr. Beast nor Chris has let this situation change them or their friendship. And it once again shows that true friendship will last forever. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. It's much appreciated.